Hey, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for coming today. It's kind of a gray day. I just came from the cemetery burying a longtime member of the congregation. Uh, cold as can be out there. Um, then the curfew last night from the killing of Dante Wright and pandemic. It's been a long year with a lot of stuff. George Floyd, everything continuing to pile up. So um, we have a lament psalm for today. Psalm 51, prayer for cleansing and pardon. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward beings. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put the new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your way, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud for your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise, for you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O God, you will not despise. Right on the back of George Floyd, we have Dante Wright. And we are all just grieved by the heaviness of this situation, the lost loss of another black life. So that's why I read a lament psalm today is that God hears us and is with us and is equally as hurt by this tragedy. But maybe it's time for us to think about how we as individuals can play a part and how we who are not, we can't just point the finger at law enforcement and say it's their problem. It's all of ours. We need to come together to listen, to learn, to open our ears, to open our eyes, and open our hearts to the injustice that is happening all around us and the inequities. So we lament, but we look forward to the future with hope because of Christ.